Hey everybody, and welcome to uh, my PTK House Talent Painting! So I just flashed across the screen, it's the first painting I ever did, and today we're gonna uh, try and recreate that, not exactly, I'm hoping that I've grown as an artist. I also flashed my palette across the screen, and right now um, you can see that I'm adding some black, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of blue into that black to create that dark that dark sky and then slowly I'm gonna start adding a little bit of violet a little bit of white so that we can kind of blend that down and get um, that nice gradient that we're looking for I this painting actually took me about an hour to complete and I had to speed it up uh, eight times <laughs> to get it to fit down into the seven minutes so it looks really fast um, but it does it does take time and it's meant to be relaxing so if you wanted to try and paint along that would be great if not that's totally cool too feel free to just watch now I'm putting in that horizon line we have the front which is gonna be water and the back which is gonna be the city uh, silhouette silhouettes are one of my favorite things to paint because they're easy <laughs> I can I can blend colors and then throw some black on it. It looks like I did something really amazing. So when you do water, you want it to be the opposite of the sky. So if the sky is dark to light, you do your water light to dark. You can see I'm just reinforcing that line there between the city and the water. And I'm just using a regular blush brush that you can find at like Walmart for a dollar. I'm not gonna go ahead and put uh, the black line in. That's gonna be the official line between the water and the city. It's okay that it's not totally straight. Coastlines never really are. What I've done is I've mixed that black down so that it's like a ink type consistency. I'm gonna start putting this bridge in and then I remember that I need to do stars. <laughs> so I take a very hard bristled brush, water down the white so that it is also an ink like consistency and just kind of flick it on the canvas. You can control how big uh, or how little or how, how many stars you have based on how far away you are from the canvas. I'm now I'm going to start reinforcing those lines again um, and start putting in some buildings. I'm using a liner brush here both because my canvas is fairly small, this is only an 8x10, and also because really it's the only brush I have clean. Um, I'm really terrible at washing my brushes, so don't be like me! <laughs> uh, here in a little bit, I'm going to talk about it now even though it's not on the screen because it flashes by really fast, I'm going to start talking about the rule of thirds and about how I've actually violated the rule of thirds. So the rule of thirds is actually a photography concept um, and it's where you get like those nine boxes that you might see on um, like when people start talking about photography and uh, the rule of thirds really says that your horizon line should be either uh, on the top line or the bottom line of the the breakup of three and I've put mine right in the middle of the canvas which is not ideal ideally yep there it is I should have put it um, on that bottom line for the rule of thirds but that's okay it's still gonna turn out great there I am flicking some stars in um, and then here you can see we have some lights they're uh, kind of like that bottom city line. Uh, I like to think of those as cars going out to dinner or home from work or uh, you know maybe they're visiting that tower in the middle or going going over to that ferris wheel spending some time with their family. What I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate like a really light yellow and a white excuse me to give it some color. And then while that dries, we're gonna start putting in a shooting star. So the original did not have the shooting star and I just thought that we could probably take this painting up to the next level by adding it. I'm using transparent mixing white because the transparent mixing white does have a little bit more of transparency to it. So I send it down and then you can see I'm starting to put that in. Now that looked really, really good, and then I put a little dot for the actual star and I didn't like it. So you'll see throughout this video where I kind of fiddle with it, acrylic paints are very forgiving. And so you'll see I put some water on my finger a couple of times, and then I wipe it away, and then I come back and I, I try and fix it again. Uh, down here what I'm doing is I'm starting to add in the reflection of those, those lights from those cars. And so I'm just doing the dotting thing, you want to leave just a tiny bit of space in between your dots. And then just take your finger and drag it down and you can get that, that reflection going. And then what I'm going to do, uh, we'll see it here in just a moment. Yep, we are starting to put in some of like the shadows or the reflections from those buildings. The problem was is that the paint dried too quickly and so they didn't turn out quite like I wanted to. Uh, but you know what? It's okay. We're going to push forward and it is actually going to turn out really great. So what I've done is I've, again, I've mixed some... Um, 
regular titanium white as well as some transparent mixing white and I'm just doing these horizontal lines and this are gonna, these are gonna give us a hint of like that water and then I'm gonna put some deeper lines which give us a couple of little crashing waves I'm assuming we're on a boat or across the bay and then I'm gonna do something a little bit bold and a little bit crazy where we water down that blue black violet color uh, past the point of it being an ink light consistency and we're just gonna brush it over everything and what that's gonna do is gonna deepen our color but you can see it's also uh, taking the starkness out of those white lines. We can still see them, but they're not quite what they were before. And then we're going to come right back over and we're going to put a couple of more white lines in it. And that's just going to help us uh, deepen the water. It's going to deepen our hues and make our, our painting a little bit more dynamic. Here I'm just again fiddling with that shooting star. It never quite comes out exactly like I want it to, but I think that you'll enjoy the end product, which is right there. You can see it. And I'm going to sign this and we're going to be all done. I hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope that at some point you follow along. Thanks guys.